Welcome back. Bob is here in the garden. A lot of you have been requesting for an update on the hydroponic fig. You can see some of it here out here behind me. I hope all of you are staying safe during these trying times. Remember to social distance. I do so in my garden. Let's flip around and take a look at the hydroponic fig. Guys, I don't even know where to start with this. This fig is growing absolutely incredible. You can see here, it doesn't even fit in the frame of my camera. Um, it's already reaching the, the top of my roof. Uh, and that is, you can see it's very green. It's all new growth. Here you can see it's absolutely loaded with figs right there. I think we have a ripe one. This one is beautiful and ripe. I'm gonna open it up for you guys so you can see the inside. I bit a little bit off. Hopefully we get in focus here, but the fig is absolutely incredible. Super sweet. Remember this is brown turkey fig and that's all I do. I just take them off of here, take a little bite. The growth is everywhere. The leaves are huge and beautiful. We have three main branches you can see, or two rather. We have this one here and this one here. This one appears to be fatter, so I would assume this is the main branch. From here, we got this little guy. Some of you might know what's going on here. That is a little air layer I have going on. Uh, again, it wraps around. It's sitting in Hydrogen Media. Uh, again, all this stuff, m most of these items will be listed in the comments below if you want to source it. This is just Hydrogen Clay, the media that it grows in. It's in a three inch net cup, which it has inevitably busted through. You can see some of the roots there. It comes up here. We have an air layer, which we'll cover in a second. Absolutely loaded with fruits. As we rise up here, fruits everywhere. This plant is literally taller than me. I'm gonna flip the camera around so you guys can see. So here I am, I stand at about six foot three and you can see this plant uh, absolutely dwarfs me. It is up on a little bit of a three foot pedestal, but <clears throat> I was not expecting this type of growth to happen. It's absolutely so crazy. So to flip back around real quick, um, even all the way over here, you can see fruits. It's growing into my tomatoes that I have strung about here, which this is a whole nother uh, loaded plant in itself with beautiful, delicious tomatoes. Anyway, back to the fig. So down here, some of you might be wondering what this experiment is. And I make clones, I air layer these branches and I give them out to friends and family as gifts so they can have their own little uh, fig trees. So basically here, I just exposed some of the bark put some soil inside of this tin foil and wrapped it around. This Velcro is just kind of to hold it shut. You can use anything really. And it's been a little while and you can see the roots growing there. You want to try to maintain uh, some moisture in here. So I just pour a little water in there every now and then. And when I'm ready, I will cut this off and pot it. And basically that's how you would clone this plant. I would then probably either cut this back and, and go from there and try to get some other shoots. But this, this is just humongous. I was not expecting this type of growth. This is like a tree trunk here already, you know, compared to my thumb. This is just in a standard uh, set level media bed. The, it doesn't go up and down. There's no uh, bell siphon, nothing, nothing of that nature. A little uniseal grommet linked down below. Um, but I'm just giving you guys an update. Some of you were curious. The Nutrients I use in this setup is master blend, just like everything else. I always get a lot of questions about nutrients. Uh, everything uses the same nutrients. My fig tree, my parsley, my peppers, my tomatoes, my peppers, my tomatoes. <laughs> everything uses the same nutrients because it all comes from one reservoir, as you can see down here. Usually it's covered. I know everybody wants to say something about algae, but usually this is covered with the lid right there. Um, you see the peppers grow beautiful here too but this ain't about those guys this is all about my super bountiful fig tree i'm not sure how i'm gonna manage this when i have to move i will be moving shortly look at this new new branch right here just coming out it's just going towards the sun from outside the house and it's got a really limited window of sun if you guys can see here 
this is on the east side of the house. So we have this overhang and we also have this ficus here that blocks the sun. So in between here and here is the only time this gets sun. And still this growth is absolutely vigorous. So some of you want an update, here it is. I thank you guys. The reason why I'm doing this is because I get the comments down below letting me know what you guys want to see and what I should do videos on. Again, thank you all. If you have any questions, leave them down there. I will help answer them. Stay safe, guys. Till next time, peace.